Good morning. We're so excited to see you here. Have you here? And I'm excited to see you guys here. I'm Codifer, and today we're checking out Animal Crossing. This is the first time I've returned to this series since the old GameCube days. So I am hoping for an experience similar to that. This is the first, I believe, main console game in this series since then. So expectations are high. Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check-in counter for your Desert Island getaway package. Deserted, not desert. I was gonna say, Desert Island. Wait a minute, I did not sign up for that. There is so much to look forward to, but first, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Inc. And Tommy, I'm Tommy. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul, so let's get started, shall we? So I'm, I'm taking it. Tom Nook was in the first game, and he was just a little convenience shop owner who kept refinancing your loan every time you paid it off. So I, I can only assume that he kept you in slavery long enough and maybe enslaved countless others to the point where he could start his own mas uh, multinational company conglomerate for deserted island getaways. Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Birthday? Yeah, why do you need that? Can't change this. We've seen others. So pick an appropriate one. Okay. All right. Well, the main goal of today is just to get through the opening bits of this game. Get a good impression of what's going on. There you go. October 1st. Is that my actual birthday? You'll never know. Codifer, Codifer, let's see. Oh, they even got it in green. Oh, yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Codifer. Oh, don't worry. It takes as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. You are. What's up with that? Oh, cool. Choose your style. Now, that's an interesting gender-neutral way of putting it. Oh, look! It's so adorable. All right, well, I am as pale as snow's first fall, so we are going with that. Ooh. Let's showcase all the hairstyles. Aw. Ooh, I, I like that it appears that none of the hairstyles are uh, exclusive. You know what I mean? Gender locked. I like when you have free choice of all hairstyles. You never know, right? Uh, this one is probably closer. And, yeah, brown. Eye color. Let's see what they got. Like a gray, green, blue-green. I've never really gotten a straightforward answer from anyone on how my eyes actually are. Like, they look this color to me. Oh, God. There I am. Showcase all the eyes as well. This is like the, uh, the old uh, Miis from Nintendo Switch. It's like the same kind of features, just slightly upgraded. They never did have a version of this game on uh, the old Wii version or consoles, did they? It's a real miss opportunity. You could just put your Miis right into the game. Aww. They actually have quite a lot of choices. I like these. Noses are pretty limited. <laughs> I have a square nose. This is the closest you're going to get to a face reveal on this channel ever. Little smile. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at him. Ah, oh, I like this one. Oh, you can get a little makeup. You can get a little blush. Nah, I don't want... Okay. That's not bad. Look at him. He's adorable. Ah, oh, look at him swinging his arms back and forth like that. So cute. Does everything look okay? You can change your look later. Well, okay. Great, you're all set. All set. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting. Exciting. We're going to set you up with a high-interest loan that you'll never pay off so that our dad can make tons of money off of you again. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. New life? I thought this was a getaway. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yes. In fact, if you want... You can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. What I mean is, we have islands in both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. 
We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. Current home. So tell me, Codifer, where do you live now? Live now. I'm in North America. Ah, excellent. That information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So naturally, we recommend that you relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay to you so far? So far? Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Very good. Because I, as I recall, it matches up pretty well. The original one, even, on GameCube matched up pretty well with seasons and, like, holidays and stuff. So I'd like to keep it consistent. Very good. We have a number of lovely uninhabited islands in the Northern Hemisphere to choose from. This just sounds like they're sending me to exile. Like, to my death. Now then... All of our islands are approximately the same size, and they're all quite natural. So don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort. You can't go wrong. They're also uninhabited, and you'll never leave. It's your new life on an uninhabited, deserted island. It's giant. You'll have plenty of space. I am Napoleon. This is my exile. Just follow your instincts and choose the island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I do it. I'll show you some maps now, and you can choose the best one for your new home. New home. New home. Okay, let's see here. Um, Four choices. Uh, they don't really seem to... Yeah, they're not much of a difference. And I don't understand what a lot of these features are, like the, the dark blue stuff. I don't... Is that mountains? Just beaches? Uh... I kind of like number one. I like the little island within an island. I always like that sort of place, I guess you could say. Wonderful choice. Choice. I can't wait to show it off to you. But before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If you could only bring one thing to your deserted island, what would it be? What would it be? You know what? Something to kill time. Some food. A lamp. <laughs> a lamp. <laughs> No electricity, it's deserted. I would like a lamp, please. A uh, sleeping bag. Uh, some food. You know, if I can't find food on the island, then I'm doomed. Um, if I bring a lamp, that's pointless. There's no electricity. Sleeping bag could be useful. As, like, the most makeshift of shelters available. Um, but in real life, I was actually stuck on an island with nothing but a sleeping bag for a day. And that was torturous. Something to kill time. Um, if I'm going to get bored on this island, then I'm in big trouble. So I'm, I'm just going to go to the sleeping bag. Seems like the most logical. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. That was just a hypothetical question. Thank God. Nook Inc. will fully cover all of your basic needs. Yes, yes. <laughs> your attention, please. This is a service announcement. The chartered flight for Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. And then wait there for several hours. And then come back tomorrow after the delay. Ah, perfect timing. Come on. Let's all board the plane together. Together. Yay. They kind of disturbed me. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook Island's deserted island getaway package. Please sit back, relax, enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. And then get ready to jump. They'll just throw you out of the plane, right into the ocean. Seriously, it feels like I'm being sent to exile. <laughs> Aww. That does look relaxing, though. Whoa! Okay, never mind. <laughs> that is straight up terrifying. <laughs> I can't get over that giant, realistic-looking bug. Alright, this looks exactly like the old-school GameCube, and I love that. Oh, they're making giant snowballs there, and... Oh. Except, again, this island is supposed to be deserted. Every Everyone's saying deserted. Doesn't that mean that none of this could happen, and I'll just be here alone forever? Ooh, workshop. Just listen to that relaxing music. Whoa, hammerhead shark! Oh, that began with the bug. I'm not 100% sold on it. Why do they have to make them look so real? A Nook Inc. production.
Are you ready for the summer? What with the coronavirus and such, this is as close as any of us are going to get to being outside. Dodo? Dodo Airlines? Oh, that's... <laughs> that's really comforting. Let's name it after an extinct animal. <laughs> We're here! Now, I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? And never go into the door on the third floor. The one with a giant three-headed dog. It will eat you. Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. Fearlessly. Okay, so I take it back. This is a cult. The first game I played had had you slaved to this Tom Nook getting you a loan that increased in value. Every time you paid it off, you could never pay it off. He, he stuck you in financial ruin, and he, he started this big corporation, and now his new scam is a straight-up cult. We're headed there right now if you'd like to move using the left stick to follow us. No! I rebel. Get back on the plane. Get out of this! You have a choice! I guess I should follow the others so we don't get separated. No! You're already... It's already starting. You're starting to just obey the leaders of the cult. Stick? I can't pick up stick. I can shake tree, though. Ooh! But I can't pick up apple. Oh, so I just wasted that. Ah, oh, pink hippo. A rhino. Definitely a rhino. And a little pig. Ah, oh, his name is Kevin. Orientation time. You look ready to get oriented. You look ready. So show the staff how ready you are. Oh, God. I just realized I have to. I should try to give every character an individual voice. And there's going to be, like, infinite number of characters. I have no idea what to do. All right, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Renee here? And how about Kevin? And there's Codifer, of course. Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Their new life as slaves. Yes, yes, very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook, Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island. So congratulations. And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, Nook, Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But, first things first. Yes, yes. I'd like each of you to choose a spot for your own. Of your own. It's the first step in putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have a cert I do have certain connections in construction and real estate and Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? That'll be a loan of two thousand dollars. Then when you pay that off, I'll give you a new loan for a new house worth ten thousand. You know how this works by now. Okay, so I get to choose a spot. Oh look at this. Me. I'm just shaking the chump look at him. Look at his little facial expressions. That's so cool. Okay, uh, the boxes. I probably should have read that last line. Um, Timmy, Timmy, we'd be happy to provide you with your tent, hmm? Okay, let's we'll go with the guy with the flag here, Tommy. Here you go, Codifer. Your very own tent. Once you find the perfect spot, press X to access your inventory, then select your tent to place it. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you'll want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a space that works for you. Oh, I suppose we're probably setting you up with a map, too. Once you put up your tent, please find your way back here. Use your new map if needed. Well, off you go. Hope you find a great spot. Okay. Oh, the peaceful music's back. I like how I Naruto run. Arms to the side. Uh, cool. I want to get up there. Can I get up there? The curve of the earth is pretty extreme in this island. It's kind of kind of hard to look at the horizon. Ugh. Can I, oh, yeah, okay, so hold down B to run. Good. There's where our hippo friend is. I haven't talked to her yet. Or him? 
I don't know. Renee, you're... Wait, I got it. Don't tell me. You're Codifer, right? See? Told you I had it. I'm Renee. I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing. Yo, yo, yo. Looks like we're both having trouble deciding where to set up our tents. I mean, it's a pretty big decision. Of course, no matter where we settle down, on this little island, at least we'll be neighbors. I'm gonna go as far away from... Whoa. Okay. Ah. So that's how you... Sorry. Just trying to learn the controls. Okay, I want to get to the island within an island. But I don't know if I can. I don't know if there's like a bridge. Or... Like, can I swim? Ah. I want to live on the island in the island. Let's see. Oh. Um, I could just say things. I'm just sort of exploring the controls right now. All in all, this island is not as big as you think. Hmm. I'm kind of regretting my choice already, since I can't seem to, I can't seem to go anywhere because of the, yeah, there's like a whole ton of island that I can't explore now, apparently. Um, it'd be one thing if I could like move my house, but it seems like this is one of those things that I won't be able to change. So that's not necessarily the best. Yeah. Um, you know what? Let's take a nice beachfront property. Um, this looks like a good spot. Yeah, tent. Build here. Should I put my tent here? Uh, let me imagine it. Is a good spot? Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's just go with it. Go with our instincts. I'm gonna need some flood insurance. I set up my tent. That's a big first step. <laughs> sure, if you're in summer camp. Tom Nook still needs to tell me a few things, so I will check this out later. Okay, fine. We got a little tent and a little mailbox. I'm not too far away from this place, which I think will be the store. Ah, Codifer. You must have found a suitable spot for your tent, hmm? You're the first one back, so I suppose the others must still be searching for just the right location. You know, since you've already done some scouting, the others may appreciate your assistance, yes, yes. Okay, Renee. I'll help you set up your tent. There you are. You already found a good spot, huh? I was trying to feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. I couldn't just sit here thinking it over forever, so I grabbed a stick and threw it. And here's where it landed. So this is my spot. Okay, I know there's only so far I could throw this stick, but I'm liking this. You know what? Yeah. For real? Yo, yo, yo. Well, if you're sure, actually, let me just think about this a little. If I put my tent here... <laughs> Looks nice, doesn't it? Looks great, hidden behind that tree where I can't see it. Awesome. From now on, this won't just or won't be just anywhere on the island. It's gonna be my fir my home sweet home. Nice. Behind a tree where I can't see it. <laughs> I can't believe I got such an awesome spot. You rock, yo 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 yo. I literally did nothing, but okay. I wonder how uh, that Kevin guy is doing. He might be having as much trouble as I was. Maybe you should go see if he needs help too. You know, I didn't run into Kevin this whole time. So, is he, like, on a part of the island I can't access? If there's a way to access the rest of the island and I'm just a goober and I couldn't figure it out, I'm gonna be sad. Oh, no, there he is. Oh, look! This place has got thick vegetation. Is this what you're thinking, buddy? Yo, I'm Kevin. You're Kota for right? Nice to meet you. Wee, wee, wee! Aw. He made a pig sound. You already set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's got to have lots of fresh air. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Codifer? It looks good to me. You think so? Awesome. Okay, then. How about we do a little visualization exercise together? If I put my tent here, it'll look like this. Pretty cool, right? Yep. All right. 
Looks like we have a winner. I'm gonna put down stakes right here and never look back. Wee wee wee. It's a tent though. Like, there's nothing easier to move in the world. As far as things that you can live in. That was a tough decision. You totally saved my glutes. <laughs> Don't tell me you already helped Renee out too. You're like, like... A true champion! I just got here, so I don't have anything ready. But I'm gonna reward you for, you for this once I'm settled in. Well, looks like it's time to sprint back to the plaza. Wee wee wee! Okay. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you found, you all found the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while, hmm? Really get the feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party! We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since we'll all be leaving here together. This will be a good test of our teamwork. Oh, I get it. Tom Nook has been exiled to the island. And he brought us along as slaves. Let's see... Timmy, Renee, Tommy, and Kevin can set up things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, Codifer and I will work on gathering firewood, and perhaps a little snack. Alright everyone, let's get to it. Codifer, would you come see me for a moment? We're gonna plan to eat Kevin, aren't we? I, I mean, I understand Desert Island rules, um, and he is a pig. So it makes the most sense. Then again, now that I think about it, I'm the only human here. So, uh-oh. Ah, Codifer. I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly ten tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So, when you find one laying on the ground, just press Y to pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the apple-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real apples! Nothing gets past you, Tommy. Timmy! Any tree branches you find on the ground or shake out of the trees would work just fine for the campfire. I just realized I called him Tommy, but technically his son is named Tommy, correct? This guy? After you've gathered up ten tree branches, please talk to our boss, Mr. Nook. So yeah, I have to be careful with that. No nicknames for Tom. Okay. Oh no, that's the wrong button, isn't it? There you go. Switch controls, man. All right, that's two branches. Three. Can I shake more? And I and shakey shakey, shakey shakey. No luck. Okay. Hey! It's a very inefficient way to gather firewood. <laughs> I'm just trying to shake what's loose. Wait, did I pass the stick? Yep. Can't get past me. I've kind of lost track, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see. Seven. Ow. Itch. Seven! Maybe eight? Oh, wait. What, I just, I just pick up grass? I did. A <laughs> clump of weeds. I'll keep that. You never know, we might need some kindling. That would be good kindling. I have ten, okay. Tom! I've got the sticks. I pick up stick. Ah, welcome back. I trust you had su some success for foraging for tree branches. Very well. Allow me to lighten your load. I'll take those off your hands. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for our campfire. You made quick work of that. And by that I mean I made quick work of that. Any objections, slave? I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. And speaking of surviving on a desert, uh, desolate island, our next task <laughs> is to round up something to snack on. <laughs> Seriously, I feel like I'm missing a sufficient amount of backstory as to why we're here. No human being, no animal, I think, would choose this. No one. This is terrifying. <laughs> we are truly in exile. We must have done some seriously bad stuff. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like apples, they smell like apples, and they even taste like apples. But it turns out, they're actually poisonous. Blah. In fact, they're 100% without a doubt genuine apples. So I will... 
So will you collect six of them for me now that I've done the hard work of the research to figure out that an apple is indeed an apple? Now, I'm sure that you don't need much guidance here, but just in case. You see a tree growing apples, you can press A to shake it, then just pick up the fruit. I'm sure you have plenty of apples for us and all in no time. Uh, I see how it is. Make the human do all the work. In all honesty, I am having such amazing flashbacks to the old GameCube days, back when I was a little kid. I'm having a lot of fun already. I haven't even we haven't even done anything. We're just doing regular fetch quests, but the the music, the ambiance, the island the atmosphere, the characters, it just feels I don't know, freeing, relaxing. It's like old school Minecraft or The Sims or something like that. You just get in and you just you know, you just play. You know, real goals or objectives, no dragons to fight, no monsters to kill, just relaxing on an island. Look at that. Oh, God. Listen to that. Listen to the sound the waves are making. Oh, that's so peaceful. I might save out this audio clip and, like, and put it on, like, my iPod and fall asleep to it because... Just listen. Oh, that is awesome. It's probably literally just, like, Ocean Sounds 101 file dot mp3. Okay, I got enough, right? Well, well. I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and make those, uh, take those apples off your hand and get started on the preparations. Now you go out and find food for yourself now. Ah, <laughs> oh, cool. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Fire! I call upon thee! <laughs> oh, that applause was awesome. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be my most exciting. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen. Again, we kind of did that originally in the first Animal Crossing. But I must prove it to myself. And perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman. Ho ho ho. Now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned. But that just means we'll have to ra rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island in two. I suppose we can call this a... We can't call this a deserted island anymore, hmm? But what should we call it? <gasps> I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules, hmm? So take a little time to think. And when everyone's ready, I'll present your ideas. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Um. Huh. I, um, I wasn't expecting this. Uh... You know what? Let's just go with the basics. And this is a total power move on my part. Can I do space? Yeah, space. What? Oh, so it gives you all that space, but you can't use it all. This is the this is the limit. <laughs> I was just gonna name it Code Rivers Island. Should just name it Island. Can I name it Jonestown? <laughs> Nookstown? <laughs> oh, hang on a second. Is that gonna fly? All right, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, and you can laugh at me. Um. I legitimately do not remember how to spell his name. <laughs> Hang on a second.
Well, if I don't edit this out of my visit video, I get to look like the biggest idiot of all time. Or I call it Nook Town. No reason in particular. Are you okay with Nook Town? I'm I'm sure that everyone has gone with that. Oh my god, yep, sure enough. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Let's try saying our ideas at the same time. Ready? Go! Uh, what? What a splendid variety, yes, yes. H1 is a potential gem. Now for the voting. Let's say... Let's all... Let's... I'll say each name in order, and you can clap for the one you think is best. Whoever seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. Let's start there. So Kodafer suggested... Nooktown! Aw, wow. That's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. I suppose, if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Nooktown. Yeah. Splendid. Then from now on, this island will be known as Nooktown. And you will never leave. Well, Codifer, since you've proven yourself by naming Nooktown, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island. Yes, yes, I hereby name you the resident representative of Nooktown. Codifer, would you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbors? Howdy! A word or two. <laughs> you can count on me. I'm a, a word or two. A word or two! Hmm, <laughs> so, uh, we've settled on a name for our island, and we've selected our resident representative, and I regret everything. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. What the? Everyone have a beverage in hand? It's fresh juice made from apples. Our new resident representative harvests on this very island. It's green! That It's green! Apple juice isn't green last time I checked. What are you doing to us? This is it. We've been here five minutes and he's already pouring us the Kool-Aid. The Nooktown disaster happened so quick. We didn't even have time to be visited by a congressman. Then, without further ado, a toast to Nooktown and the happiness of its residents. Cheers! Alright. So we got about 30 minutes of play here. First 30 minutes. Um, I'm enjoying it a lot. It's very reminiscent of the, the very first Animal Crossing game I played back on GameCube. Um, I love the atmosphere, the character variety, the, just the wholesomeness of it. You know, it's just so cute, sweet, simple. Um, I would highly recommend it. I, I At this point, I haven't gotten into any of the big features. Um, I'm sure I could move my tent based on what he said a little while ago about, you know, having time to think about it. So I'm sure eventually I could settle on that island within an island. And... Uh, we didn't get into building houses yet, or decorating, we haven't gotten new residents, we're very much so in the early stages of this game, but that is the opening to it, and um, it's great so far, I love it, I'd highly recommend it. Let me know if you want to see more videos uh, from Animal Crossing from me in the comments down below, give it a like, around this time there should be a screen popping up letting you know more videos if you want to check them out subscribe if you really enjoy what i see i try to upload every week um and i hope you enjoyed it goodbye